Welcome to Code Jogging. In this video, we are going to look at how to add our profile okay, to our web page. So that's what we are going to do. So we are done with the navigation, this the top here. So the next thing we are going to do is to add this page and then the image and you have a background here. So that's what we are going to do in this video. Okay. So in case um, today is your first time watching our video, please kindly um, watch the tutorial one on um, web de development for beginners in order to understand how we got to this place. So please kindly subscribe to our channel and also subscribe to our Telegram channel too. We've provided the link at the description session. So now let's continue. What we are going to do is we are going to build as, as usual, start with the HTML. Let's build the building blocks before we add the, um, the styling to it. So we are going to work on this. Okay. So what we are going to do is let's go back to our code and then let's go outside our class. So we are going to have another class here. Let's give it a name container. Okay, so with this container, it's going to contain um, th uh, this div. So let's look at this side. We have one parent div here and we have another parent div here, like how we did it for the navigation too. So we are going to have one div that we take the welcome page and then also uh, the welcome message and then also a div that will show our profile picture okay so now let's um create the two divs okay so now we have the two the two divs here okay and we are going to have um a heading here so heading one then we type welcome welcome to my page yes welcome to my page okay and then we are going to have another div here which will take our welcome message so i use lorem okay so you can copy it and then let's paste it here so let me break it down so that it will be easy for us to um, read the quotes okay so we have it here okay so now we have our welcome page let's go to our page and refresh it now we have something like this okay so let's add our image to it so we have our image here so now for us to add um, an image to our, our web application we have to call the image tag image tag is a single tag and when you talk about the single tag, it ends it ends with um forward slash and then um greater than. So the image tag is being called with mg. Okay, so it gives you these parameters. First, it requires a source. So let's end this one. It requires a source that's the path where we can locate the image, and then if the image is not found what message you want to display so for example let's give this one asterisk and let's say my profile picture okay so let's go back to our code and now you see the alternative here is displaying in case the image cannot be found but as soon as we're able to load the image this one won't display okay so now let's use our image here then image so then let's refresh our page now we have our image here okay so now we have our image here so what we are going to do next is to make sure that we have the welcome page and the work uh, welcome message here at the left side and then the image or the profile picture on the right hand side so that's what we are going to do so for us to do that let's go to our source code and then let's give this um, 
day per class so let's make it left side container okay and then let, let's leave the image for now okay so let's leave the image for now so what we are going to do is so what we are going to do is let's style the left side container okay so it's a class dot shouldn't forget about that and then you have our container here so another class dot okay so what we are going to do is is to make sure that we have our class so we have to get the um the display as flex so that it will be on the same line because the image and then the test they are not on the same line and then we've brought the two on the same line here okay so what we are going to do next is to make sure that they, we have the item centered okay so justify content centered here okay yes and then we are going to give it which one are we working on okay no let's move this one here yeah okay so the next thing we are going to look at is the max width okay so we are setting the max width here because we don't want a situation whereby okay our browser here where the whereby the image the web page here is being opened on a wider screen and then our uh, our ui here will also try to fit on the screen for let me give you an example here so let's try and then so without the max width let's remove the max width here now you see it tries to fit the screen which it also try to change how our page looks like okay so for us to prevent that if the screen size okay if the screen size is higher than 1500 pixels just set the width to 1500 pixels so that it won't exceed okay so that's the meaning of the max width and we have max height too but in this video we are focusing on the max width okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to center our container here okay so we are going to center our container here so what we are going to do is to center it so then we are going to have margin so margin top pixels zero pixels and then auto and now there we go now we've centered our container okay so whenever we try to open it on a big screen it always be centered okay so that's what we've done so far okay so now the next step is to um add pardon so as I, as i've said earlier pardon is used to um add a space between a container and its element okay so let's add pardon so the pardon um let me see what we can do um pardon let's make it zero for now okay so let's refresh it nothing happened then we can go ahead and then give it a background color so for us not to change anything here okay that's the background color so let's refresh our page there we go okay so now we have a background color here and let's change the text color in it to white yes so now we've changed the text in here to white okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to tackle the left side container that's this one the welcome message here so let's change um the margin we want to provide a space so margin top here to a percentage so that it will be a responsive so three percent okay 
so we can add as many as we want but now you can see it here okay so now you can see it here so let's add um the width so instead of stretching to the end of here we can give it a width of let's give it 60 percent okay and then let's center the items okay we've already done that so we've centered it then let's give it a pattern so pardon top button zero and then 20 pixels that's left and right so what we are going to do is we are going to provide a space between here beginning of the test and then at the end of the text so let's refresh our page and there we go okay so now what we are going to do next is to give our image a class okay so let's make it my photo so let's give it a class a style here so my photo and then let's add the style to it so max width this one we are not going to use a percentage we are going to use pixels so let's refresh there we go okay and then we have um margin that's auto okay and then we have so let's check something here now you can see there there is a um white background here i call it shadow but i prefer using the white color here so let's use that one so we are going to add that one to our image here so we then we call it we have to use that one we can use box shadow just to add that one so we are going to give it um the box shadow we are going to give it 20 pixels okay okay so what we are going to do next is let's add the um border radius to it so the border radius allows us to um so 5x 5x okay so the border radius here allows us to change the edges now you see we are having a rounded edges here so with the help of the border radius we can have that okay so let me check again so image that's auto let's see a class okay so now we have let's remove this okay let me test this one display none okay so our image is working okay but before we do that let's add let's put um this let's wrap this code with the parent container again so that they can have the same background color so let's give it um p container that's a parent container okay so if we are going to give a p container then we should add this code to it so p container then we can have with 100 percent okay and then let's copy the same background color here so we are grouping the navigation and then this one but we don't want any space here because if you can see from this side we have this dark blue color on top of the details here okay so let's add that one let's refresh and then we are we are good to go then pardon button so we are going to give it 20 pixels so pardon button then 20 pixels that uh, 20 pixels sorry and then the test color 
is going to be white. Okay, so now I've provided a space here. And now let's check our code here. Come on, let's have our code here. Okay. So class. Okay. Then border radius, and then we have the shadow. So five x five. Okay. So yes. Okay. So um the next step you are going to look at is the is the h1 here okay so that's what we are going to like that that's the welcome page here okay so that's what we are going to look at so the h1 um let's give it a class here okay so let's give it a header okay so let's give it a header class a header here okay and with the header let's give it a header here Let's make the font size that's changing the text size to text pixels. Okay, let's give it a pattern that's 10 pixels, 30 pixels, and then let's give it margin button to 10 pixels. So let's refresh our page, and then there we go. Okay, so okay, so now we have our header here. okay so let's change let's check the fonts here okay so let's increase it a little bit in order to get what we have here okay okay so we have so let's have font with bold okay so now we have this one here and then we can have let's see the reason why okay so border radius we can have 15. okay the border radius is written perfect yeah so we have our border radius here let's check okay okay so now what we are going to do is we are now going to um add our google fonts to it and also trying to add some small style to it in order to achieve this so i want us to add our google fonts so that we can be on the same page like this. And we are going to do that in our next video. So our next video, we are going to look at how to add a uh, Google font to our project. Okay. So in case you have any questions, you can leave it at the comment section and also subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our, our Telegram channels too. We provided a link at the description section. We've provided the source code for this tutorial at the description session. Subscribe to all the um the Telegram link and then also the YouTube channel link. And if you have any questions, please kindly leave it at the comment section and then we also respond to it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.